All right, so if you're thinking about doing some ghost hunting, stay away from Sebring. Well, police there are warning those looking for the paranormal to stop visiting an historic building that's become the site of fascination for those seeking kind of an out-of-body experience. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports on the Kenilworth Lodge and why the still living are no longer welcome. Commander Curtis Hart remembers the glory days. When it was open and functioning, it was a beautiful place. It was busy. Today, the Kenilworth Lodge is quite literally a shell of its former self. It's very sad. Uh, I hate to see it like that. On Sebring's Lakeview Drive, the three-story structure is in disrepair. Built in 1916 by the man the city is named for, it was condemned in 2016 because of fire code violations. Guests were booted, never to return. A lot of people coming into town from this, uh, from the south end of town, you know, see this as they're coming into town. But some apparently wonder if all the guests have left. YouTube and Instagram are littered with videos by people who have broken in in search of ghosts. Over the last two months, Sebring police have gotten seven calls from the property owners in hopes the otherwise normal will stop looking for the paranormal. In a legal sense, police say that's called trespassing. Commander Hart doesn't believe rumors a long dead hotel manager has stuck around. I don't know that, you know, it to be haunted. Um, never heard anything about it being haunted, so I don't know what the draw is there. I don't know if somebody's just um, putting that information out there on the internet and other people are following up on it. What is it about this 65,000 square foot hotel that makes people want to come connect to the paranormal? A Florida historian says it's about feeling close to the past and to the people who we will never get to know, but who influence us every day. It's a different experience than, say, you know, sitting down and opening a book or reading a diary of somebody who lived at the time. If you can actually be in that spot where those people were and get a sense of something, I think that's kind of another level of connection. David Bullet runs the website Abandoned Florida. He doesn't necessarily believe in the paranormal, but has been in the Kenilworth Lodge at some point. It's one of 2,000 abandoned buildings he's explored. You gotta have a connection to your community and to your city, especially when a Sebring where it's much smaller than say Tampa or Miami. Commander Hart says there is a push to refurbish the Kenilworth to help the town reclaim its past. It'd be great to have an operating and functional, beautiful old building um, to highlight your, your city. No matter who is staying there or for how long. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. Who knew? Does look like it's full of stories. Oh, yeah. Full of history for sure. It does. Lots of history. Yeah.